Hey everyone, this is Collector Phase, and welcome to part 3 of the Olympic build tutorial. So what we're going to be doing in this one is laying out the outline and rough sizes for the superstructure, focsal, and the poop deck, and we should also be building in the propeller shafts, the propellers themselves, and the rudder, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the focsal deck, because a lot of what follows is based on the focsal deck. So we're going to actually be using slabs this time as well. So coming to the middle rib, you want to go a block, and then a half slab like so, and then you want to do that again for the next one. So these two should be exactly the same. And then you want to move back to the next one, and you want to go two blocks up, and then a half slab. And then you want to come forward to the next one, and this time we're going to bring it forward one like so. Actually, you can leave that block in. And we're going to do the exact same thing, so up like that, and this should just be... So basically it's four ones back like so. And then you want to come to the next one and do the same thing again. So forward one, up one, and then a half slab, just like so. And then on this one you want to come forward one and up one, but no half slab on this one. And then you want to do that again, just like so. And following that you will want to do that again. And then on this next one, things change just a little bit. We're going to go forward one, and then forward one again, just like so. All right, and then following that, we're going to come back to this one, and we're going to go two forward, and then up again, and then two forward again, like so. So kind of like that is what you're looking for. And then you want to come back again, and you want to go... So you want to come down here and out. We're just going all, all the out ones. And we want to go forward two, up one, and forward one. Just like so. And then you want to come counting this block, five blocks back. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the fifth block, place two up like so. And that actually marks the end of the focal deck. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to build the curve in so you can see how that works. So what you want to do is you want to go two blocks back like so. You want to place a stair on the first one facing forward like so. And then you want two slabs just after it, like that. And that makes the curve of the kind of wings that the focal deck had. So now, we want to come to this one, and we want to go 14 blocks back, including the first one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. On the 15th block, you want to go up 3, so 1, two, and three, and then you want the exact same curve that we put on that one. So we're going to go two blocks in front, two slabs in front of those, and then a stair facing aft this time because it's facing the other way, and that creates the curve on the superstructure. So I'm going to go ahead and replicate this on the other side, and I'll actually take you along for the journey this time. So we're going to go up one, and then a half slab, and then we're going to go up two, and a half slab, and then we're going to come forward one, and up one, and a half slab again. And then we're going to do that again. And then we're going to go forward one, and up two. And we're going to do that again, forward one, and up two. And then we're going to do that one more time, forward one, and up two. And then we're going to go forward one, up one, and forward one again. And then we're going to go forward two, and then up one, and forward two again. And then we're going to go forward two and then forward one, like so. And you want to go five blocks back, one, two, three, four, five, and on the fifth block you want to go up two, then back two, then two half slabs, and then stairs, just like so. And that gives you a nice little outline of the focal deck, so um, I'm not going to fill this in yet, but the way that you would fill it in if you wanted to is just bring it all forward like so. Just basically, not on the inside. Alright, moving on from that, let's go ahead and continue aft, and once again... So, it's actually easier to count from here, so three blocks forward of the shear, and then go one, two, three, one, two, two half slabs, and then a stairs. Just like so. Okay, and then moving aft... Okay, this next bit is going to be a little bit painful because there's a lot of counting, so... To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to connect these two just across the ship like so, this block will be removed along with the blocks that we're about to place in. We're actually going to come down a couple blocks just to ensure that it is definitely below the shear strike when we get aft. And we want 168 blocks, including this one, so 167 more. 
So let's go. One, two, three. Sixty-eight. Okay. Now I want to bring it up to match with the shear stripe, so up to that's going to be. And leave this block here. I'm going to go ahead and remove these blocks, and I will be back with you in a sec. You can leave the markings in if you think you'll need them. Okay, so starting on the block that we just placed, we're going to... We want this to be five wide in total, so let's just make sure that this is the middle block. Looks like it is. Okay, so we want this to be five wide, so two on either side, just like so. And then we want five blocks diagonally, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And the same on the other side. So we want one, two, three, four, five. Then you want to come in one, and this should go out to the outer edge of the hull, just like so. And break the blocks in the corners here, because we do not need them anymore. And on this side as well, go ahead and build it out to the outer edge of the hull. All right. So, moving on, we now want 10 blocks back from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then here, build out to the shear stripe, like so. And this is where the poop deck starts. So, on both sides of the hull, just like so. Up to, just like that. And then the same curve that we put at the bow. So, two blocks, two slabs, like so. And the same on the other side, two blocks, two slabs. And the stair. There we go, break these blocks away because we do not need them anymore. Okay, and now, moving on, we are not going to be shaping the poop deck in this one because I did not write down the measurements for it, so we will just be moving on to the rudder now. So let's go ahead and get started. So coming down to the very bottom of the ship, grab your anti-fouling block, and you're going to want to break this corner block away, place a block here, this is going to be part of the hinge, and then from here you want to go two blocks back like so, and then up one, and then you want to come out one more, and you want this to go up nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want to come forward one, and up three, but remember to switch back over to the other color. Then you want to do that again, so forward one and up three, so one, two, three, and that actually marks the full width of the rudder, just like so. Now you want to come down to here, grab your anti-fouling block, and build this all the way up to the top, just like so. There we go. Alright, once you've built all the way up, you want to come over here, you want to leave a two block gap like so, and then build that in as a hinge, and you want another two block gap and another hinge, and then you want another two block gap and another hinge, whoops, then a three block gap to the bottom. So that's accurate, so this is what you should have right about now. And then you can go ahead and fill the rudder in. They should note, no, this is not a perfect rudder, but uh, you, can, you can modify it as you see fit. You can adjust the curve of it if you think that's necessary. Uh, this is kind of just the best that I could do in Minecraft, so it's not perfect, but it definitely works as a rudder. So now let's go ahead and get started on the center propeller. We want to come down, leave a two block gap here, bring this up one, just like so, and build that in like so, and then come three blocks back, nope, come two blocks back, build in another one of these, and just break that away. And now from here you want to go up five, so one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and on top of that just build in the same little pattern that we have down below. So just little four little blocks across the top, like that. There we go. And now in the middle of this you want to place one anti-fouling block, and then a gold block, and then go back to the anti-fouling block. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and build in the propeller shaft now. Coming, Starting here, you just want to come back all the way to where it meets the ribs, and make sure that you fill in any gaps that there are, because this is meant to contain machinery. Just like so. And that'll look a lot more normal when we actually build the ship in. So let's get started on the wing propellers. And for the wing propellers, you want to come up five blocks from the ground. So one, two, three, four, five. So basically the same level as the center propeller. And then you want them to start on the sixth rib out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you want them to start on this rib here. Again, 6th rib out from the middle of the ship, 
not including the middle ribs, so you just want to count each of the outer ribs. And you want this to come 32 blocks aft, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, just like so. And then from here we actually just want to fill it in. Now one thing I should note, the propellers are going to start on the 30th block out. So I'm just going to mark that for now, I will show you how to build the propellers in a second. For now I'm just going to mark where that block is and we're going to fly back and we're going to actually build the wings in. So, build these back to the block just in front of the propeller, like so. And then you want to come up a block and build the same sort of thing in, just like so. Alright, and then you want to do the same sort of thing again down here, just like so, coming all the way out. And then you want to place one more block, just like so, and that forms the wing for the propeller. And you can go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Alright, and with that done, you should have the shafts and mountings for all three propellers. So let's go ahead and actually mark out how the propellers are going to be built. So I'm going to go ahead and build out here, just up like this. In fact, we're actually going to go like that. Then we're going to come out, we'll go out six, so it matches, so it's in line. One, two, three, four, five, six, and build six and again i'm just going to show you how to build the propellers here so you get a better feel for it feel free to put these directly on the ship i will show you how to build them on the ship in a second but for right now we are just going to build them on the floor so you get an idea for how they should feel so let's go so starting with the port side propeller we are going to build one little l like this and then you want block on top and two blocks like that and then a block like that to give it the impression that it's kind of pitched and would be spinning up like that now coming up here, you want the same little L pattern, just like so. And then down here, you want blocks like so, and one like that, and then break that block away. And then finally, you want three blocks in an L pattern, just like this, like so. And then you want to come up and out, like so. And that gives the propeller the impression that it is pitched to spin that way. A better way to explain it, actually, might be something like this. So if I build it on the floor flat, then you'll kind of see the shape that we're going for here. So this is more or less the shape of the propeller blades that we're trying to make. And bear in mind, these are not going to be perfect because, well, it's Minecraft, there's only so much that we can do. But that's basically the shape that we're aiming for, viewed head-on. And that is... Actually, do you know what? Because that's the Starbuck propeller, I might as well just actually pitch this one to show you what I kind of did. So, on this one, you take these three blocks and move them up, like so. And that gives you that. And then you come up here and you place these three blocks, like so. And I should mention, actually, on the center propeller, it doesn't actually matter which blocks you pitch, uh, just make sure that they're done so in a pattern to imply that it spins anti-clockwise. Sorry, and then lastly we come down here, and we do these ones like so, and that gives us that kind of shape. Alright, so let's move on to the center propeller now, and it's worth noting that these propellers are going to touch each other, on the ship they will not because they are separated uh, lengthwise, I mentioned this in the video where I showed them off the first time. So let's go ahead and build this one. Uh, we are going to go one block here, and then come up, and forward like so, and that gives you one propeller blade. Then you want to do the same thing down here, up and out like so, then you want to do the same thing up here up and forward, and a block there. We want to do the same thing over here that we did over there, so we want up, like so, and then one block up at the top like that. And that, that gives you the shape of mm, sort of a four-bladed propeller. And I should note, actually, this is one of the main areas that Olympic differed from the Titanic. Olympic had a four-bladed center propeller. Titanic over there has a three-bladed center propeller, and I do not have the notes on that one, so I guess I will show you that in the Titanic conversion tutorial. But yes, notes that if you put this propeller on the ship, you have marked her as the Olympic, not the Titanic. So that's the shape that we're aiming for, so now let's go ahead and build them on the ship. So let's come over here, and we're going to actually go ahead and remove these blocks because they're going to get in the way. 
And then because we're on the port side, we want to come up and then break this block away. And this is one of the blocks that's actually pitched, so we're going to bring it forward. And building off this block, we're going to build a little L-shape like so, break this block away, and then we want the blocks over the top like so. And there we go. That is the propellers for the Olympic built in. And I think that's actually going to do it for this video. I don't have anything else written down shaping wise. So uh, in the next one, we'll, we'll start shaping the poop deck and we'll start shaping the superstructure. Oh, speaking of shaping the superstructure, actually. <laughs> Come over here, one, two, three, and the same on the other side. One, two, three. And then forward two, two half slabs, same sort of curve that we did earlier. Two blocks, two half slabs, and a stair. And then the same back here, and a stair up. And I think that should do it. So, uh, I think that's all I have for this video. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you have already subscribed to one of my favorites. I love you, thank you so much. And uh, yeah. With all that being said, I think that is going to be it for this video, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.